Good morning. The sun is shining. Let's see what happens today. So we've just come out of the hotel and two doors along is Lidl. And that's where we're going to go now. Carol wants some ham, of all things, but she wants some ham. Just a little view of where we are at the moment. Fountain things over there. But the architecture's brilliant. Nice blue skies. So we've just stopped off for a coffee. It's warm. Right, you're not in this, don't worry. It was on me. Now I'm turning it. And the kids are all having fun over there in that water. It's very tempting because it's so hot. But this is just from the other side. And that's that building. Right, back to my coffee. So we all went in the fountains to cool down. We've all got wet enough to cool down, apart from Carol, who is soaked. I'm wet. She's dripping, <laughs> absolutely right. dripping. But there we go, that's Carol for you. We're just going for a walk down this road now. <coughs> there is a big square at the bottom, apparently, that has like a market. Carol and I are gonna stop off for something to eat, I think, because we're both pretty hungry. So Carol and I picked up a McDonald's and there's loads of pigeons around, so they've been eating the fries and some of the burgers. So we're now back on the platform for the train station as we're heading off to see Adele. Come on the train. We're finally off the train and we are now heading up to Adele World. Here we go girls, Adele in Munich. Stadium's over the back there. We're just walking and there's quite a way to walk. It is very, very hot at the moment. They have forecast thunder later. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen like it did last night. But if it does, we've got kagols or ponchos or whatever you want to call them. Fingers crossed we don't have to put them on. Always a bonus, always a bonus. We are now inside the grounds. We're just waiting for the girls because they're lining up for t-shirts. This is just part of it. It is absolutely heaving. You've got the big wheel over there. There's food places and drinks. It's all the food and drink, but it is absolutely, like I say, heaving everywhere.
the rain. It is spitting with rain at the moment. Hopefully it won't get too bad though. We'll have to wait and see. It was weighing me down. Did you have fun at Adele World before it started raining? I'm a little bit annoyed because I had to move my whole day earlier to get my hair and makeup done so I was ready on time for 7.30. And I needn't have bothered because I'm gonna look very real life to you in about 20 minutes once this all washes off my face. But I don't mind. Let me just get a sip of my honey. Normally my, my hot honey is a lot closer to me but you guys are so far away in this rain so I'm just gonna can someone come and bring my table closer to me? Because I don't want to be getting all those extra steps in all night. Crikey. <laughs> Adam, would you bring my table of drinks and tip? Well, not the tissue, because obviously those will get wet. So. <laughs> last Saturday. By the way, I know it's a Wednesday. I'm very confused as well why there's one random um, Wednesday thrown on these. I feel a bit out of sorts because I've been doing Fridays and Saturdays for a very long time. But there is, um, there is the best band in the world are in town. Coldplay are here this week as well. Yes, they are. Thank you, darling. Are any of you going to see Coldplay? Well, they, they were already playing on Thursday and Saturday, so I moved my Friday show, my Saturday show, sorry. Um, because I don't think Munich didn't want that many people walking around being drunk, singing sad songs. Fuck me, that lightning. Imagine I get struck by lightning on stage. <laughs> don't say I don't love you if I do. Um, so, um, I haven't really done very much this week. Normally I like to give an update on what I've been doing, but I've only had a couple of days. Um, so, um, yeah, that's all I have to fill you in on this week. <laughs> I've done nothing. I'll tell you what did happen, actually. Um, I went down a rabbit hole of an artist. People, people are describing her as a new artist, but she's not. It's like it took her seven years to become an overnight phenomenon. Chapel Row. I heard a song a little while ago at my birthday, and I loved it, and it was one of my friend's playlists. And then I went down a rabbit hole on Monday all day long. She is spectacular. And it turns out she's not just got one song. She's got like seven fucking brilliant songs. I think she's absolutely amazing. I'm very excited for her. But my friend also said she's a bit scared. So do what you gotta do, baby girl, but you're phenomenal. Anyway, that's all I've done this week is discover Chapel Row. Um, Eric, are you ready, my love? All right. If you see me go like this, it means you, it's your turn to sing, okay? I decided to be my own mascot and shoot t-shirt. I'm like really invested in the idea now of it. So it's so big here that I have to make, make me this machine. Now it worked very well last week. I don't know if it's going to happen. Get ready. Inside these are signed t-shirts for me. ones that just fell and throw it in the crowd. I can't thank you enough for making and you know, for just giving me your time basically and, and listening to my music and Adele concert but I'll tell you what even though it rained 
and we did get wet and I didn't get cold, it was bloody brilliant. And I certainly, certainly will come and see her again, definitely. So we're now back up in the hotel room. I've had a shower. Um, I've had an absolutely fantastic day and an absolutely brilliant evening. It was really, really good at the Adele concert. I certainly would go and see her again. Um, even though it rained, it didn't put a damper on it. It was absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, highly recommended. Anyway, I'm going to sleep in a minute. I will see you all tomorrow. So from me, it is good night.